Good afternoon. It's a Saturday afternoon, so the roads won't have too many other lorries on it. Uh, may have a bit of traffic, Saturday afternoon traffic in the cities, but other than that, should be okay, hopefully. But we'll see. We've got to go um, around Birmingham, which uh, might get a bit busy because we're going to Bristol. And uh, I have been to Bristol once before, and we have to reverse in and it's a place where a lot of people like to sneak the cars and park there for a short while while they just nip the shops locally rather than pay for parking and sometimes when the truck's in there they can't get out and uh, they have to wait sometimes and they don't always like it so we're not sure sorry there's a, an urgency driver just along the, along there who had a bit of a a problem. Um, he wasn't sure whether his load was where he was going because uh, it just said London White and uh, that wasn't the description on his run sheet so we just needed to double check but um, I just needed to give him a bit of help because he didn't have the right telephone numbers to find out and the office is shut on a Saturday afternoon you see so there'll be somebody in in an hour or two maybe they're in now actually i think they start about four so anyway we're off to bristol we are due there at about quarter to eight it's about five past four now i've done the first use checks check the load ah now it, <laughs> sometimes i do class one um, and some of the trailers can be a bit difficult to, to open because they're a little bit old, some of them. So they need a little bit of persuading with one of these. It's a lump hammer. I had a bit of a problem with one. Unfortunately, there was a, a, a chap that was driving containers. I think most container drivers the shipping containers they tend to carry lump hammers all the time because some of them those containers get bashed about a lot and uh, they just need a bit of persuasion a bit of tapping here and a bit of tapping there and uh, I've never up until now I've never had to use it on a class two but this particular truck I've had this is the third time and I've had to use it every time so um, I've only ever, luckily, I'm glad I bought it because it just makes it easier just rather than you struggling or having to ask staff for, you know, have you got a hammer or find a brick or something just to tap it. But anyway, so um, if you're wondering why I've got a great big lump hammer, it's just to tap the, open the, uh, the, the doors at the back because uh, these ones are roller and they hook under and it's a little bit tight so it just needs a little gentle nudge with one of these <laughs> yeah so we're just going to get going now i may not film coming back because it's going to be dark um i don't know how much we're going to film on the way there we should get a good few hours in and what i might do i've bought um, a Garmin diesel sat nav because the sat nav that I was using which is Sigic truck is fine for class 2 but I wouldn't trust it at all with class 1 so I'm just I thought well I'll try diesel and I think both are as bad each to each other in a way I <laughs> don't know I don't know yet, but um, I think you've just got to use common sense a lot of the time. Especially if you're going into a town where there's only uh, loading and unloading allowed. These things will, you know, they, they just go bonkers. You know, none of them will get you where you want to go. Just a minute, my phone's going. A call has just come in from the agency to tell me that another driver needs training. So they're going to come along with me today on what's known as a buddy day. 
and I'll teach them what I know. Right, so maybe we're not going to do that because apparently I've just been advised that I've got to pick up another driver who I'm going to be training on what to do. So it's like a buddy day. Um, so we may not, may be a bit difficult to film because he may not want to be in. And I'm going to be teaching all the time. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stop filming. 